I um, just wanted to update. Lindsay just went back for her hip surgery. Um, she was really nervous, but they gave her something to help her relax. And we will keep you updated as the day. Just wanted to give y'all an update. Lindsay's surgery went very well. Um, she is recovering. She had several bone spurs that were cutting into her labrum, and they fixed all that. So she will be out of commission for about a month. She can't walk on it for about a month. Um, but she did very well. Hey guys, so it is now, I think, what time is it, Mama? Mama, what time is it? 7.30, and I am home. I've been home for a while, but I've been sleeping and really tired. But I thought I'd vlog real quick. I'm reading, actually. I'm on page 102 of Twilight. It's so good. I really, really like it. Um, it's making me feel really happy and giddy, and I don't know if it's the drugs or <laughs> <coughs> or what, but I actually really like it. And I know I'm going to get some probably judgmental comments from that because I know a lot of people do not like the Twilight series, but I absolutely am loving it so far, so um, <coughs> it's really good. I don't remember hardly any of it from when I read it in middle school, so... It feels like I'm reading it for the first time, which is always fun. But, um, I just wanted to update you. My mom vlogged for me this morning because I just was not in the mood to vlog this morning. I was so nervous and scared. I am in a ton of pain. I feel like I'm dying. My leg, I just feel like I want it amputated. Like, it's just so painful. But, it's going to be fine. Right now I have a nerve block. And that's going to wear off probably by tomorrow morning. And then the pain is really going to be very, very bad. So, and I cannot walk on my leg for four weeks. I have crutches and a wheelchair. So that's four weeks of me basically being in this recliner all the time. I'm going to take you for walks. Yeah, Mama's got uh, the wheelchair so we can go for walks and stuff. But um, I'm going to be reading a lot. I can assure you I'm going to be reading a ton. Because that's all I'm going to be able to do. So, but I felt awake enough to update you guys. Um, I'll probably combine today's footage with tomorrow's footage. Because I don't have enough to make a vlog for today. Um, if I can continue reading, I will update you guys throughout the book. Let you know what I think. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye. So it's about 4.15 in the morning and... I can't sleep because I'm in a lot of pain. The block, like before my surgery, they gave me a nerve block to help with the pain so that way I wouldn't feel it too bad when I woke up. And it's starting to wear off and it's just really bad. and Like, it's irritating me. But I'll be okay. Um, I'm reading right now. I decided to reread Fifty Shades of Grey series. Um, I don't know, I just really wanted to. I haven't read them in a while, and I just thought it would be fun to reread it. So I put Twilight down for a little bit, and I'm reading this now. So, yeah. But I'm getting a little sleepy, so I might have to doze for a little while. Um, I'm super swollen in my leg. Like, my whole leg is so swollen, and my thighs are swollen, and my hip is swollen, and, like, everything is swollen. It's just crazy. And... I'm like super numb, even on this side of my body, like my hand and my arm and my leg on my left side, even though I have my right side that got the nerve block, um, I guess the nerves are connected because I'm a little numb here, like my thumb especially is really numb, and yeah, so, sorry I'm also really puffy, it's the steroids that I'm taking, and I had IV fluids today for like hours, so I'm very swollen. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to update you guys. Um, yeah, so there's nothing else to really say, I guess, other than the fact that these next couple days I'm not looking forward to. And getting up, and the only time I get up is to use the restroom, and it really is starting to hurt to get up and down. Like, it's hurting to use my crutches. Like, I have crutches. And um, just standing up and stuff is just really hard. So, like, I hate it. And I get angry when I have to go pee because, <laughs> which I know might be too much information, but I do because it's just so painful to get up. And it's like, I'm just getting frustrated. So, yeah. 
that's the update. Um, there's nothing really much left <coughs> to talk about, I guess. So I will update you guys later. I'm going to try to sleep. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, Bye. so it is 10 o'clock the next day. And I did sleep a little bit. I went to sleep at 5 and woke up at 9.30. So I slept it's better than what I expected to sleep. Um, I'm very swollen. <laughs> I was watching my vlogs when I first started vlogging a couple weeks ago. And my face was so, like, little. And then you start to watch me throughout. And my face gets bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> because of this damn medicine that I'm on that makes me swell up so badly. It's really annoying. But anyways, my hip is very, very, very sore today. The nerve block is basically worn off. And it's very painful. I hate getting up to use the restroom because it's just awful and painful. But when I'm laying down, it's not that bad. And yeah. But I'm about ready to start reading Twilight again. I am going to watch a few YouTube videos and then read Twilight. So... But, um, yeah, so those are my plans, and I will try to vlog throughout the day, let y'all know how I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, good news is, with this hip pain, my Crohn's pain is not as noticeable. It's still there, I can feel it, but it's not as noticeable, because I'm in so much pain in my hip. Because even lying down, like, I, it, I can feel it. But it's not as bad as if I have to move and, like, stand up and everything. So, <coughs> yeah. But I'm hoping this is as worse as it's going to get, but I'm feeling it's not. Um, I don't know. Because I'm still a little numb, but not really numb anymore. Like, I can feel my thumb and everything, and I can start to feel my legs again. But that was really weird yesterday, too. Like, I kept falling my balance, or I didn't fall, but I would, like, my mom had to catch me, like, five times, because I was so, like, it's weird when you can't feel your lower half of your body, and your arms, like, it's kind of like getting an epidural, which I've never had one before, but that's what they compared it to at the hospital, they said that it's just funky, and you can't feel your body, so, yeah, it was weird, but I'm very grateful for it, because it gave me 24 hours to where I didn't feel the pain as much as I do right now, so. But I will talk to you guys later, and yeah, I'll update you all later. Hello, you guys. So I am on page 163 of Twilight, and I just got really irritated because I noticed that with this series and with Fifty Shades of Grey, that these are this, the female characters are supposed to be very strong women. But they're always in danger, and they're always the damsel in distress, and then this brooding man comes in and saves them from the danger. Like, it's just, it's just bothering me, like, you know, because, especially in Fifty Shades of Grey, and this is like a spoiler, just so you know, if you want to read, it was in the Fifty Shades of Darker, actually, when her, Anna's boss, Jack, tries to assault her, she takes care of him. Like, she takes care of it. She defends herself and she goes outside. But then the men have to come in and run upstairs and be the men and kick ass and everything. And it's like, she, got, she, she, she was taking care of herself. She was good. Why? And then in this, Bella is getting assaulted by four men. And I am glad Edward came because I don't think she could have taken on four of them. She, it wouldn't have ended up well. But still... It's just annoying. It's always like this in these books. All the women are supposed to be strong women, and then the men come in to save the day, and it's just really frustrating. Like, I just want the woman to be her saving the day and fighting her own battles without a man coming in. Like, And I know that sounds like ultra-feminist of me, but <laughs> it's just annoying me because there's times in my life where I've had men being a little too friendly and I've taken care of it by myself I didn't need a man to come in and save me I took care of it by myself and you can ask my mom I've taken care of it I kick some ass it's no big deal I took care of it but and I didn't have some guy come in and save me 
And when I came home and told my dad about it, did he want to go kick their ass? Sure, but he didn't because I told him I took care of it. It's just annoying. Like, realistically, women can take care of themselves. Like, not all the time. I'm not saying that four big men on one woman, I, you, I'm not going to win that battle. And I'm glad Edward came to save her. I really, really am. But I'm just saying, like, we don't need a man all the time. And, like, we don't need protected. I've got protection that I have in my purse. I've got good protection. I've got two protections. And I know how to fight somewhat and so it's what happens when you grow up with a, a brother and five boy cousins you learn how to fight and I watch bad girls club <laughs> against, my better against my mom's better dress but I'm 20 years old mama I, hate that show. I love that show I watch that show to learn how to fight except I don't do the pulling hair stuff I punch and I'm also not afraid to get hit like I've never been in a fight with other people except the men that tried to get a little too friendly or my brother and my cousins like we would fight a lot so I learned how to fight but I don't know I was just super irritated and I just wanted to speak about that because it seems like the books I've been reading lately it's like the woman is supposed to be a strong female character but then there's always a man coming in to save her and I'm hoping when I read more fantasy novels like uh, City of Bones and Six of Crows, Three Dark Crowns, those kinds of novels that there are more strong women in there that fight their own battles. And Katniss Everdeen, oh my gosh, in The Hunger Games. She takes care of business. I love her so far. She is so independent and strong and makes me want to put this book down and go read The Hunger Games because I just need some strong females in my books. And right now, I'm not getting that. So, yeah, but... I am going to continue reading this. I might stop later and read The Hunger Games because I really, really want a strong female character. Bella is strong. I'm not saying that, but I'm just so sick and tired of this trip. Is it trope? Is that what y'all call it? Tropes? Yeah. It's a really annoying. So, but my event is over. Thank you for listening. And I will update you guys later. Hey okay, guys. So I'm at the halfway point in Twilight. I've got it right here. And so far, like, I'm kind of bored by it right now. I think it's just because there's, like, not a lot of action. They're getting to know each other, and I don't know. I'm just, like, kind of bored. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue reading this or if I'm going to start Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, I've already started Fifty Shades of Grey. I think I'm, like, 70 pages in, and I might read that. I can't decide. We'll see. So, yeah, but I am back to reading like two or three books at once. I didn't do that when I was reading Harry Potter because Harry Potter just consumed my entire life. But now I'm back to going, this is how I generally read. I have like about two or three books in front of me, sometimes four if I'm really indecisive. And sorry, The Office is playing in the background. <laughs> That's what I'm watching right now. I'm so swollen. I look like a chipmunk. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but that's how I generally read. I have several books by my side, and I just go back and forth and back and forth, and it doesn't confuse me. My mom doesn't see how I do that because she gets confused with the plots, but, I mean, it's just something I've always done since I was in elementary school, so, but... I am going to get off here and read. I think I might show you guys my bandaging. I'm very swollen. So I think I'm going to switch the camera around and show you the best of my ability. Um, by the way, in the surgery, they repaired the tear that I had. And then they said that my bone spurs were awful. They said it was ridiculously bad. And they got rid of those. And um, they want to look at my left hip because it's popping and doing the same thing. Even though right now I cannot imagine having another hip surgery because I think I might die if I had to deal with that pain right now um, so I just can't think about that right now I gotta think about this hip right now <laughs> so um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys so the bandaging and stuff so I'll be this is just my leg but like see how swollen it is like that's like a little thing right there 
because my legs normally are not like that. And it just goes up, up, up. And I'm not going to show you the rest because it's like too much, like, you know. But that's the bandaging. So, yeah, and that's my ice pack for my hip. <laughs> so, I'm on page 319 of Twilight. I decided to just continue reading this. I'm thinking I'm going to finish it tonight. But I'm irritated again with this because they're already saying that they love each other and like they're going to be together forever and I just don't get that. Like even in Fifty Shades of Grey they do that. I find a lot of similarities by the way between Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey and it's just like nauseating for me honestly and I'm not a super romantic person when a lot of like cheesy romance is going on I honestly get nauseous and I know that's weird. Because I know a lot of girls like swoon over stuff like that, but I just get really sick to my stomach and it makes me uncomfortable and I just honestly want to curl up in a ball and die because I just get so uncomfortable. But um, I just don't understand like how people in these books fall in love so quickly and I know it's like fake, but like how do you fall in love that fast? It takes time. Like. I don't know. And it's also annoying me that these women get so dazzled and like almost can't think properly because of these men's good looks and everything and it's just irritating me for some reason. Maybe it's the medicine that I'm on. <laughs> like I am on a lot of medicine right now obviously because I just had surgery. I'm on a lot of pain meds but I'm very irritated by a lot of, and I just hit my hip really hard. Ow. That was stupid. Um, but I'm highly irritated at the moment, and I'm trying not to get so frustrated, but I am. And, yeah. So, I'm going to continue reading. Try not to throw up while I'm reading this. And, uh, what? My mom is baking cookies. Like, I think she's baking 144 cookies. Oh, no, that's just the tea cakes. I've already baked 13 dozen chocolate chips. 13 dozen? Thirteen dozen chocolate chip cookies, thirteen dozen tea cakes. She made dog treats. See, I hate baking and cooking. She loves it. Like it gives me anxiety. So, yeah. But anyways, it makes me nervous because I'm a horrible cook. I burn everything. Like things catch on fire, and it tastes bad, huh? Oh yeah, that was a bad time. One time when I was, um, it was at my old house in Indiana, my dad had asked me to put the popsicle box in the recycling because it was empty and I forgot about it. And he came in and I was like, oh crap, I didn't do it. So I threw it in the oven and I forgot about it. And then my mom went to go bake something that night and uh, the, the thing caught on fire. <laughs> I don't know why I threw it in the oven. My dad would have just been like, really, Lindsay? But I just, I just, I think it was because I had screwed up like 20 times that day and I didn't want to screw up again, so I threw it in the oven. Oh, that was embarrassing. Anyways, I'm going to continue reading and hopefully the cheesiness dies down a little bit, but it's pretty freaking cheesy. I'm enjoying it, though. Like, I'm enjoying reading it. It's just really cheesy. I probably, right now, I'm feeling like a three or a four out of five stars on this one. Not a five out of five stars. Like, it's not amazing, but it's not awful either. Like, I was thinking I was expecting it because a lot of people do not like this series anymore. Like, when they first read it, they loved it. But now they hate it. I don't hate it. Like, I'm enjoying reading it. I'm having fun while reading it. I just find myself getting irritated by certain things that, you know... I don't understand myself because I wouldn't act the way Bella's acting. And I get irritated when I read Fifty Shades of Grey sometimes. And I have all their books, five out of five stars. But I still get irritated sometimes by some of the stuff that Anna and Christian do because I myself wouldn't do them. But, you know, everybody's different. Anyways, so I'm... Huh? Yeah, here we'll show you one of Mama's snowman cookies. Sorry I'm so swollen. God, I look awful. Look how cute that is. Look how pretty <laughs> her little snowman cookies. She's so talented. And they taste really good. 
so. Well, I know it's a cookie cutter, but I'm saying they taste good, smart ass. <laughs> we talk to each other like that. We're totally teasing. If I ever said that to her seriously, I would get in trouble. <laughs> that would not be a fun time for us. No, we tease like that, though. We were just playing. Um, don't want anybody commenting, being like, I can't believe you just disrespected your mother. If I actually ever said something like that to her in anger, it would be a completely different story. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and go, and I will update you guys later. Hey guys, Bye. so I just finished Twilight. I am finished with it. And we all know what I do after I finish a book with the movie adaptation. I watch it, so I'm about ready to watch it. Um, I really actually liked it towards the end. It was a lot better. The cheesy factor kind of went away. Um, I'm going to put a 4 out of 5 stars on this because I did really enjoy reading it and I did like it. There was just some parts that were kind of like nauseating because it was so romantic and cheesy. But um, overall it was a good book and I really liked it. So after I'm done watching Twilight because I'll probably still be up because I'm in a lot of pain and I don't see myself sleeping. I'm going to start New Moon um, tonight. So, yeah, this one I'm not looking forward to, though, because Edward's hardly in this book. I know that because I've seen the movie, and I'm not going to like that because I love Edward. I was always Team Edward when I was in middle school, so or in elementary school. Actually, I was in fifth grade when this all started happening, so I was always Team Edward, so, yeah. But I think it'll be fun to get to know Jacob, but I've got this. I'm going to start reading this, and I am done with today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.